for the past 100 days, I wore the exact same wool t-shirt without washing it once. Why? Did it start to smell? And again, why? Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Lloyd and this is my YouTube channel all about living a happier, healthier, more sustainable life. And if you're subscribed to the channel or you've watched any of my past videos over the past three plus months, you would have seen this shirt. I've been wearing this shirt a lot for more than 100 days. And I did it as a, a challenge, an experiment, and out of interest in wanting to live more minimally and a concern for the environmental impact that our clothing has. So what exactly is this shirt and why 100 days? This t-shirt is a merino wool t-shirt from the company Wool and Prints. I guess it's what you call a premium t-shirt as they cost $68 a shirt, the most expensive shirt that I've ever purchased. Wool and Prints says they were founded on the idea that guys get more out of life when they have fewer things and that the company's vision is to own less, own better, and get to the things we love doing. Maybe I'm just a sucker for the marketing, but that resonates with me. For anyone looking for women's clothing, they have a separate brand called Wool and. As part of their marketing, Wool and Prints have what they call the 100 day challenge, wearing one of their shirts for 100 days without washing it. This works in part because wool is naturally odor resistant and quickly dries so sweat doesn't have a chance to build up and feed odor causing bacteria. I've been trying to own less and as I spent time online, I kept seeing ads for these shirts so I thought I would give them a try. Okay, now it's time for me to give a quick disclaimer. I purchased this shirt with my own money because I wanted to try it out. But about 50 days into my 100 days, I could already tell that I was going to give a generally favorable review of the shirt and wanted to see if Wool and Prince had an affiliate program, which they did. So I applied to the program, yet they denied me. I then tried to inquire why, told them that I was doing the 100 day challenge, that I was gonna make a YouTube video about it, and they then accepted it. And they asked if I wanted to try out anything else in their lineup. So of course I did and asked for a few other shirts to try out. And now you know, so how about hitting that like button down below as a thumbs up for transparency. I purchased one of their crew neck tees in size large and in the color sage green. Okay, first impressions, uh, feels nice. Maybe a little bit bigger than I would like it to be, um, but uh, I guess I'll just have to hit the gym more to fill it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, nice t-shirt. I went with a large because I put my trust in their size chart online. I typically wear a medium, but also have a few well-fitting large t-shirts, as shirt sizes differ from brand to brand. And while I thought the shirt was a little too big, I did like the extra length. For anyone wondering, I'm six foot three. When offered other products to try, I asked for a medium iron gray t-shirt, which is a bit on the smaller side, especially since I've become a little bit fluffier recently, but I do think it is closer to what I've found with other medium t-shirts from other brands, so maybe go with your typical size. I also got a blue button-down shirt in a large slim and feel that that size is spot on. So for the past year and a half, I've been working from home because, well, you can guess why. And as such, I've been able to get away with wearing a t-shirt, the same t-shirt for 100 days straight. My wife is really the only one who I see on a day-to-day -day basis, and she puts up with these kinds of experiments. But others wear a uniform to work. Some well-known people come to mind who have popularized the idea of wearing the same thing every single day. Two people that come to mind are Steve Jobs with his black turtleneck and jeans and Mark Zuckerberg with his gray t-shirts. Wearing the same thing every day, however, doesn't mean you need to wear t-shirts or turtlenecks. 
A news anchor in Australia wore the same suit for a year and no one noticed with millions of eyes on him. In 2015, Matilda Cole went viral for writing about her decision to wear the same outfit to work every single day. If I were in the office, the button-down shirt I got from Warm Prince would work perfectly. I would, however, probably wear an undershirt with it. My favorite are organic ones from a company called Pact. I'll put a link down below. And maybe get two shirts to rotate them out every day to allow them to dry a little bit more after work, especially if you get sweaty. One thing that people asked me when they learned that I was doing this is, well, does the shirt smell? And no, with a slight caveat. When I started wearing the shirt, I definitely didn't believe that it was not going to start stinking, but uh, I was willing to give it a try. To my surprise, a week in, no smell. And the weeks just kept adding up with absolutely no smell. One thing that helped was that it was not the only shirt that I wore, which is totally allowed by the 100 day challenge. I just had to make sure that I wore this shirt for at least eight hours each day, but most of the days I wore it for 12 to 14 hours. I'd take it off at night and hang it up to air out. Hanging it up inside out and in an area with more airflow worked better. But then I went on a hike, a nice warm hike in the North Carolina summer. While the shirt is typically fast drying, it could not dry fast enough while hiking and started getting this funky sour smell. Yet, as soon as the hike was over and I stopped sweating so much, the shirt somehow returned to a neutral smell. Now, I said that I didn't wash the shirt at all over those 100 days, and it's kind of true. I never put this shirt into the washing machine to, to wash it. I did do some spot cleaning because I would get you know, stuff on my shirt, spilling on myself. I guess I'm generally messy. I actually have a little mark right here that I got from uh, breakfast this morning that I need to do a little bit better cleaning. And I had to clean the armpits of my shirt about every two weeks. Not because they started to smell at all, but because my hippie deodorant uh, started building up on the shirt and was kind of getting kind of clumpy and gross actually, uh, so I would have to, to wash that away. But if it wasn't for the deodorant and spilling on myself, I'm pretty confident that I wouldn't have had to wash the shirt at all over those 100 days. After I hit like 110 days, I washed this shirt, I put it in with a load of other clothing and did not dry the shirt. I, I laid it out to dry because you're not supposed to dry wool clothing. And here it is. I have washed this shirt once. It's held up well, and I will probably continue to, to wear this shirt on a pretty regular basis and uh, minimally washing it, which is great. Now, do I recommend this shirt? If you find that the wool print shirts um, fit you well, you like the fit, I think this is an excellent shirt. Now, $68 for a t-shirt is a lot of money in, in one sense, but for the, the right person and the kind of right usage, I think it's a pretty good steal. It's great to be able to travel with just a few t-shirts and know that you've got weeks worth of clothing. And then the dress shirts would be great for anybody who has to you know, wear a button up shirt to work. I've got the one blue one and if I ever return to work in the office, I'll definitely get a second one and it'll be my go-to shirt. It'll definitely reduce the decision fatigue of having to pick out shirts as I'll just have those. Maybe I'll get two blue ones. Maybe I'll mix it up a little bit and get a gray shirt. Who knows? But it's been a good experience over the 100 plus days and I can say that I would recommend this shirt to anybody who is interested in it. If you've got any questions about the shirt, leave them in a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But it has been a fun experiment, uh, one that I've really enjoyed. My name is Tyler Lloyd and this is my YouTube channel all about living a happier, healthier, 
more sustainable life. If you're interested in checking out some of my other videos, how about you check out this video where I limited myself to a hundred physical possessions for 30 days. Would have been good to have this shirt or this video about my minimalist iPhone setup. See ya.